Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, new video on the, on Bitcoin. Your daily updates. I mean, it's uh, in in general, of course, we we're, we're we're getting into the weekend, and if you take a look at the volume for Bitcoin, you can also see that volume is relatively low right now at uh, at around 24 billion. Um, however, some volatility is expected because today we have some uh, some some major news happening, right? Uh, with the Bitcoin conference in uh, in Nashville right now at um, I think it's like 7, 7 p.m. UTC, um, Universal Standard Time, uh, that Trump is speaking for 30 minutes, a lot of eyeballs on that, a lot of people are are kind of speculating on what he will say in, in regards to, to Bitcoin and the US. Um, so that will cause a lot of volatility, I would say. And that's also, I mean, if you, if you look at the general state for, for Bitcoin right now, it seems like a lot of people are, are positioning themselves in a certain way. Um, so here you can see that the open interest, like if, if we really zoom in, uh, zoom out on the open interest. So basically how many positions are being opened? I mean, basically since the 9th of July, but even longer than that, a lot of positions are being opened on Bitcoin. Um, and especially over the course of, uh, especially over the last couple of days, it has increased quite a lot more, even though the price, I would argue has been relatively stable, right? I mean, if you zoom out here in, in this area between 68,000 and, and 64,000, we've been relatively stable, kind of consolidating or at least setting up some sort of a consolidation between that right now, even though there's a possibility that will break out, of course, there always is. Um, so, so that's, in my opinion, a lot of people speculating on both today but also just in general, the markets uh, to, to continue this way, of course. And uh, and most of these are actually longs. So um, I find it a little bit hard to predict what's going to happen. I do think at least leading up to the events that we will still be bullish. Um, but I'm, I'm leaning towards thinking at this point of time that um, we will see a sell the news effect. All right. I, I think the market has already priced in a lot of the, the, the crazy things he can say about Bitcoin as a strategic reserve, etc., um, so I'm not sure, especially in the weekend, especially in the summer, um, whether the markets are strong enough, whether there's enough money with uh, uh, sidelines um, ava available to be brought into the markets to really cause a pump up to 70, 71,500, because that's what we want, right? And that's ultimately also I, what I expect. Like this move, I think it's a matter of time before we get there. I think it's in line with the, the overall market structure right here. But I also think it's in line with the fundamentals. I mean, regardless of what he says uh, later today, the fundamentals are still very positive for Bitcoin, right? Not only uh, with, the, with, the, with the presidency situation in the US, um, but also just macroeconomically, uh, that S&P is bouncing back relatively well, I would say, right here. Um, uh, Russell 2000, still very bullish. Liquidity, uh, down a little bit. But overall, interest rates, uh, we have some more news on next week. That's all very positive i would say all right and bullish um so therefore i, I do ex expect that move but for now like i said it also looks slightly like we are forming some sort of a consolidation for now um what i would say is first of all just be careful there's no real need to to trade this and maybe you can still like i said i do i do expect some more bullish momentum ahead of the uh, conference um and maybe if, if, if you're a, if you're a better trader and you can react quickly, you can you can you can do some scalps, right? That that's a, that's always a possibility because I do expect volatility. Um, but for now, I would say it's most likely that that will do something like this, all right? So some sort of a spike into the 69s, and then something like that. Um, but that very much, I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll probably do some sort of a well. I, it's too late in in my time zone to to still cover it in the in the evening. Um, but I'll keep you updated on this on, on X, so make sure to follow me there, or I just uh, Selenix Crypto. Um, I'll probably be watching it. I'll be watching the markets for sure. Um, so, so that's the only way to know for sure, because it will depend also quite a bit on what we see over the course of today, and then just in general the uh, the general direction. And and it also matters what he says, right? And I cannot predict that if he says something very outrageous. Um, then we could still rally up here um, without getting the sell the news effect. So yeah, in general, be careful. I am slightly bullish short term, slightly bearish on the medium term or the next couple of days. Um, I'll keep you updated on this. For now, this is what I think you need to know. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.